We're at part 5 of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 commentary, and basically what you're seeing here is pretty much anything that I didn't get to show off in the beta. Well, this is actually the first half of the beta that you don't really get to see. So, uh, what you're about to see here is Wood Zone. There really, this is actually more of a test level, because there really isn't anything to really see in this, except for a few platforms here and there. And this wall you actually can't walk up, so I need Debugger. You need Debugger if you want to go through this stage. There's even a part where Sonic can moonwalk if you hold down both the left and the right buttons. But then again, on a regular controller, it's impossible to actually hold down both left and right. You have to be using the keyboard at all times or else you can't nail that off. And I'm actually baffled that you can really only do this on PC. Why did they only make it so that you can moonwalk on PC games only? That's bad control! <laughs> but then again, the physics are okay, so I have no complaints. There's also um, conveyor belts, which you're about to see, which I'm actually baffled that they don't work. Because they, they're fully functional in terms of animation, so you would think that they're functional in terms of movement. But no, they don't move Sonic, they're not able to move Sonic whatsoever. It's an anal train wreck, I know. But yeah, I tried to moonwalk here, but I fail horribly. I fail at Sonic 2 Beta. <laughs> Wait we get to Sonic 3 and you'll see what crap happens there. Uh, nevertheless, uh, most of the Act 2s in this game are actually just, um, they have nothing. There are no platforms whatsoever in some of these Act 2s. Like right here, there is nothing in Wood Zone Act 2. What was the, the level designers thinking, what were the level designers thinking when they made this beta? How come this was an actual demo release of the game itself? That I question. I own one of the old betas, so this is, I'm baffled. I am truly, truly baffled. Nevertheless, this is, um, what is this? Metropolis Zone. And, uh, you're about to see something pretty similar, because in Wood Zone there were these little tunnel things which you can go through the tree, and it would take you to a tunnel area where it would constantly be moving you through to the other area. And what you just saw there, uh, those, those, um, steam vents, they are sort they sort of react to springs after, like, one second. Regarding that you're standing on them. They don't really work until, uh, the final version of Sonic 2. What the duck? What's causing that to happen? Is it the debugger? I swear that's the debugger that's causing Sonic to go downward. Nah, whatever. One thing I find funny, though, is that this level is fully functional. But, I'm figuring that without- if you need a debugger, I'd figure that's why they didn't have it as a fully playable level in the demo itself. But it's very good observing. You know. And you see this little tube here? Does the shape look familiar? Yeah, um, this again goes into the fact that Sonic 2 had the whole time travel thing going on. Uh, that corkscrew thing needs to be fixed. That corkscrew thing needs to be fixed. Don't go through it, Sonic. But yeah, uh, Metropolis Zone supposedly is supposed to be the, uh, present- It's supposed to be the future version of Wood Zone. Because apparently, this, plot line wise, this had some kind of a concept. The wood zone was supposed to be a forest that Robotnik was going after, and what he would probably do there is he would probably chop down all the trees, replace it with all this metal stuff, and pretty much that's what that's really what Metropolis is. It's a working factory that was made from a forest, and apparently a lot of the things were kept in it. I don't get to show off Act 3 in this video, I'll show it off in Part 6, due to time restraints. But, this part, yeah, Sonic is still doing it wrong! He is walking on lava! Why are you walking on lava, Sonic? It makes no sense. That makes no sense. Um, oh yeah, these gears, uh, they actually have a completely different design than the final one. But, very nice, um... Scrap brain kind of a feel if I could say it that way sort of like a classic 8-bit gear design The only other kind of thing the only other game that I would think of that would have that in the Sonic series at least 
would probably be uh, Sonic 2 for Game Gear. Ooh. Immediate death pit. I did not see that coming. Nevertheless, uh, I just jump cut to the other part of the level. Again, Sonic is still doing it wrong. He's supposed to be taking damage from all this. Why, Sonic, are you not taking damage from lava? There... <laughs> There is no reason to not take damage from lava. Also, those little conveyor belt things, they're functional. So why aren't the wood zone conveyor belts functional? I thought they were all able to, like, move for you or whatever. <sighs> I'm figuring that's only because Metropolis Zone was actually intended to be a primary stage. And... Wow, uh... I'm actually baffled that they actually had to make the level not longer, but... Eh, whatever. Nevertheless, here is Oil Ocean Zone, which surprisingly has a lot of reference to the whole BP oil spill problem that happened a long time back. Remember back in 2010 when, uh, apparently due to BP's oil, it had, uh, caused everything to happen? Whatever. You also might remember this, uh, ball, the Wrecking Ball from, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. That, that switch is actually not in the final version. I've checked everywhere. It's... I mean, it's in the debugger. It's just not usable in the final version. You literally have to find it... You literally just have to place it somewhere using the debugger and, uh... Yeah. That's really the only time that's useful. The UFOs, which are the rising platforms that were in the other demo, they still make an appearance in this. They are pretty small, if I do say so myself. They... They actually don't even keep the UFO design in later games. Uh, okay, ball, why are you walking? I mean, rolling down the. I'm sorry, did that? Did I really just see that? Did I really just see Sonic go through a wall? Oh God! No! No! Sonic doesn't go through walls. He runs on walls. He's not supposed to go through. Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm, I'm just mad about something in my personal life. Also, these, um... These oil slicks. They are not functional until later. Also, you might notice that that little pipe there on the left-hand side, in the background, that pipe is actually not in the final version background. Originally, Oil Ocean's concept was, uh... And there's also supposed to be fire coming out of these, um, floating green platforms. But... That pipe was originally intended to be made so... Like, I'm figuring the level would have had more oil than it was supposed to. There was that UFO, by the way. So, with that said, I think the... The pipe was supposed to drain the oil out of the oil ocean itself, so that at one point, there might not even be any oil coming from, like, the bottom or whatever. There might not even be any oil at all, you might just fall to your death. I'm surprised that they didn't intend on going with that concept. That was a good idea! Do you know how many people would have liked that idea? I digress. Here's Act 2. More of the same stuff. More and more of the same stuff. More balls falling without you.